It's come to light for me recently that a true enthusiast watch collection isn't complete unless there's something special in the collection. We all have a dive watch, a dress piece, a field watch and a Casio. However, these types of watches are some of the most popular in the world and can be picked up from any mall, shopping centre or supermarket. So to really complete an enthusiast collection, surely we all need something that's a little bit different. Something that you won't see on someone else's wrist. Something that is made by enthusiasts for enthusiasts. These watches here can cost upwards of $100,000. They're a proper watch nerds piece and the one we're taking a look at here today costs just $500. What if I told you that not only do they look very similar, they're also built with the same idea of telling the time. In this video we'll be taking a look at a very cool watch that needs more attention from watch enthusiasts. So when Atawak got in touch and offered to send me a watch for review, it was a no brainer. After just looking at their incredibly different catalogue for just a couple of minutes, I realised that this is a micro brand that deserves to be seen. Typically this style of watch has been reserved for the super rich of the world. You know the ones that have more money than cents. However, with this release from Atawak, we get a slice of the pie for a very affordable price. Let me introduce you to the Atore Light. This is a watch inspired by racing cars. The look, the function all comes from the millions of dollar sports cars of the world. That doesn't stop this being an absolute killer of a watch though. They've managed to squeeze this incredibly unique design into a very wearable case with an automatic movement that ensures the watch will be ticking for years to come. The watch we have in studio here today is the Atowak Atore Light Silver. This is an unconventionally designed wristwatch that tells the time in a very different way. We've all seen three-handed watches, digital Casios and other unique watch styles. However, the Atowak Atore definitely separates itself from the rest as a unique time-telling device. Instead of a set of hands travelling around the dial in a traditional way, instead we have a series of discs and markers that are all working coherently to display the time unconventionally. On the very right hand side we have a marker pointing at the hour, similar to what we see on vehicle speedometers. Inside of that we have a minute wheel, which spins 360 degrees once per hour, allowing for a stable pointer arrow in the centre to always point at the correct minute. Then on the inside, a spinning smaller second wheel that has various colours, again using the centre marker and colours to tell the seconds of each minute. Telling the time this way certainly has a bit of a learning curve. At first you can't just glance at your watch like a traditional diver or field watch. However, once adjusted, this isn't a problem. If anything, this just makes you look at your watch. Like, really look at your watch, appreciating the idea of time telling. The next unusual aspect you probably noticed is the case shape, which is also very unique with its asymmetrical case and unique construction. Having a full stainless steel case and sapphire crystal means this watch isn't just all about the looks. It has the toughness to survive everyday life. You don't have to baby it and only wear it occasionally. Impressively, for a larger looking watch, it actually wears very well. This is down to the 46mm look to look, meaning that the 47mm case becomes not so hard to pull off, even for smaller wrists. And at 14mm of thickness, it certainly isn't a big chunk of metal on the wrist. Considering the function, design and idea of the watch, Atowak has somehow managed to pull off this design with a very pleasant wearing experience. The most impressive part of this whole package however is that Atowak has taken a very popular off the shelf movement with the Myota 8215 and managed to redesign it to function like a $100,000 watch. I can't imagine how much this must have cost to do. The research and development, the trial and error, this really is a little marvel of engineering in the affordable watch space. Now let's talk about the design. Who is this watch for? Well of course off the jump, race car enthusiasts. This one's without question for you, but you can certainly appreciate the idea of this watch without having to be a petrol head. From a watch enthusiast's point of view, we have so much going on. Great finishing with the brushed upper case and polished chamfers, and even some brushing on the side of the case too. Loom running inside the case and on the wheels, an exhibition case back with a custom rotor and a fully engraved signed crown. Plenty of detail under the glass too with the Geoche pattern work. This is a very well designed watch. Plenty of thought has gone into design as well as plenty of money too. There's a couple of things I'd change with this watch though. Firstly the 24mm lug width is a bit of pain. Who has 24mm straps laying around? I'd have much preferred 22mm. Although the supplied strap is good enough and will last a long time. Secondly the centre pointer that displays the seconds and minutes is a little small and hard to see. I'd have preferred this either to be bigger or in a different colour. Overall though, I can't really find much fault with this watch. I mean, it's an acquired taste anyway, right? If you're in the market for a Submariner homage, you aren't going to go out and get this watch instead. But if you're like me, already have a diver, a field watch, a dress piece, a chronograph, and want something different, something that catches the eye, then this should definitely be in consideration. For me, owning a piece like this that is so unique and different really completes a collection. It adds something that no 
Overwatch can. Fantastic innovation and great design doesn't always have to cost a fortune. For just $500 with Atowak's website newsletter sign-up code, you get a seriously good watch that is certainly very different from anything else you can find around. I'll leave a non-affiliate link to Atowak's official website in the description. The watch also comes in some other very interesting colours too, so check them out. If you like this video and want some more affordable watch suggestions, be sure to check out my video here on 10 affordable underrated watches enthusiasts should know.